Today's travel tips are going to use small items that are going to help you for every part of your vacation. These will turn into travel hacks because you're using something small to make a big impact or you're going to use something you already have in a different way to help you pack for your flight, to help you inside the airplane, to help you pack in a carry-on suitcase only, or to help you just have more comfort and peace of mind throughout your entire vacation. If you have been listening to Travel Tips by Laurie for a while, you know this travel hack, and that is to use cotton balls. You squirt your makeup remover that is liquid onto the cotton balls, and then you pack them inside a little plastic baggie, and this does not count as liquid to the airport security officers for screening. That way you do not have to pack these liquid makeup removers in a liquids bag. I have tested this travel hack for only a five day trip and that's as long as they stayed moist. But one of our viewers helped us out and said that if you add a little drop or two of water after day three, it prolongs that moisture for like an eight day trip. A small travel essential that I use for every trip is my small containers and I do not only use them for liquids, my liquids bag, okay, to save space. One travel hack is you do not have to use the travel-sized items. You'd save space if you pack those travel-sized items inside a smaller container for that particular trip. I tested my really runny, watery, easy to leak shampoo in these containers a few months ago and my bag got checked to the belly of the airplane because there was no overhead bin space and these did not let that runny liquid uh, leak. I've used the other little container in my like toiletry kit. Ah, I just stuck my finger in there because I decanted my makeup remover balm, okay? With this little spatula thing, you don't need to take this much for even an eight day trip. Only decant what you need because balms do not count as liquids and then you can put it in there and then store that in your toiletry kit or a pouch somewhere for your trip. Let us know if you are flying on an international airline that has severely restricted the weight or the size of your personal item bag even. If you do not use like a makeup remover balm, but you do like to use Vaseline, that's another thing that you could decant. And here's why I use Vaseline. One, in the winter time, I just dab a little bit on the inside of my nose if I'm in Colorado where it's really dry. Or number two, for a beach vacation, if you have um, walked on the beach with a wet bathing suit and you have chafing, you're going to see some items pop up over here and I have chosen those things to pop up. Um, it is not spam. You can click on that product to read more and even buy the items while still hearing my video and my travel tips and hacks. Many of you have had ear pain in the airplane from the pressurization. These are what so many people, flight attendants included, have have recommended for ear pain. They're called ear planes and there's even an app that you can download, but I don't know if you would would be able to use the app unless you're attached to the Wi-Fi in the airplane, but it tells you when the pressurization is off and that you need to put these in. One helpful tip for these earplugs is that they're easy for big fingers to use and you just pull your ear way up, the directions say, and it is it does go in easily. Now, one travel hack that my doctor told me, which I have not had since I started using allergy shots, but he would tell me to squirt Nasacort, and where did it go? Or whatever product loosens your congestion an hour before the flight, just ask your doctor. I've heard tips of using chewing gum. If you have kids, um, let them suck on a sucker or help them drink milk from a bottle. And one travel tip is Sudafed, if that helps your congestion drain. Sudafed is illegal in Mexico. I don't know why, and I don't know how they expect us to know that, but it's illegal. I always travel with my eye drops because my doctor told me that like 10 years ago, 15 years ago when I had LASIK, they're individual vials. For me, they're easier to fit a few of these into my liquids bag instead of like a refresh bottle that's a little bigger. Another item that I now love and 
I used to could never do smells. I only can do white candles. Okay, now I have found my perfect perfume, but here's the travel hack. Just get the little freebie from your Macy's department store, or whatever one that you like, not for the flight because so many passengers are so sensitive to smells, but while you're on vacation, it's easy for this to slip in. One travel hack, if you do not know this, if you wanna fit more containers in, your liquids bag, pack them horizontally, okay? And then when you fill in as many like items that are long and flat horizontally, then start filling in with the odd shaped containers or tiny things that can stand up vertically. That'll help you. You can fit more liquid containers in. I know, it's crazy. Here's another travel essential that is small that has changed my life. I got it at age 49 probably. It's mascara primer and you put it on, it's one of the Lancome. I'll link it in the first comment. It's probably going to pop up right there. <laughs> I can make that one pop up. Some of them I can't. Like if they're on Amazon, I can't make them pop up. But it makes your mascara stay on longer and it makes it come off more easily. I don't know how, but I love that stuff. And I have short and straight eyelashes. See? It does wonders. This is the cutest and easiest travel toothbrush to travel with because it has air holes all through it. And once you open it up, it is not going to bend on you when you're brushing your teeth. Love it. Since we're talking about beauty, I have to talk about this. I learned this from Shay Whitney. It is a little buffer thing for your prolonging the color in your part before you can get your hair colored again. It's so easy to use and you don't even have to pack it. Okay, I've started using my um, full coverage uh, tinted moisturizer. It's a three in one, which is a travel hack. It's your moisturizer, your sunscreen, and your foundation in one. You can find your own type, but this is a beauty blender because it's full coverage. I don't want it to look like caked on makeup and beauty blenders, you get them wet and they enlarge and then they go back to a little egg shape. If you need to pack them, you can just throw them in your little toiletry pouch or you can put them in a plastic Easter egg because most of them have two holes on the bottoms and so it will help it air out. Okay, this thing is called Hollywood tape. See, they're little pieces of tape. You can tear them off to the length that you need, but what it does is if you have a V-neck shirt or a button-down gingham shirt, which is what I used for before, I mean, I've had this thing like almost 10 years, it tapes the fabric so that it does not gape open or especially with an Oxford shirt between the holes, okay? When you're sitting in the airplane, like I don't wanna have to worry about that. Okay, when you are packing your Q-tips, you can pack them in a little plastic baggie. That's a travel hack. Remember, all of these containers most likely could be swapped out if, you're, if you need to restrict the weight in your bags. Just use plastic bags. They are so lightweight and helpful. But if you do pack Q-tips, you can pack them in a bag or you can use this tiny little container. It's my favorite now. And I accidentally bought 16 of them. So everyone in my entire family and friend group is going to get this for Christmas. We were on the hunt because my husband was getting steak stuck between his teeth and he needed to, like during a dinner where he was, he needed to use the floss stick. And we thought it would be so much more helpful if you didn't have to carry like a tin of floss sticks, okay? So we found individually wrapped floss sticks and he just puts one or two down in his wallet, game changer. And he feels better about that. But we found that tin while we were looking. So I just put my regular floss sticks in there. And then I also looked for this for him because it was masculine looking, but they're not long enough for the wrapped ones. <laughs> but that's a small container that you can find something to put in and it's very lightweight tin if you need that. Because I'm allergic to red dye in makeup, so I have, anyway, um, I have 
taken cotton balls to dip in the certain blush that I use because I don't want my brushes with that blush mixing with my eyeshadow brushes. This is a game changer if you are worried about someone pickpocketing you or um, stealing from you while you are on vacation, while you're touring. They're little bitty hooks that connect the zippers and they're easy for you to use. The hack is that you are slowing down criminals. They can figure out a way, they're so smart, they know ways to steal, but if they're just looking for an easy target in that dumb American tourist, you're going to slow them down with these little things. There are some that lock, but I'm not that worried about it based on where I carry and hide my valuables when I'm touring in a touristy area, um, but I would, use those to connect the largest, the largest pocket of my backpack, not like every little pocket of my backpack. And then also maybe your purse connecting to the edge of the crossbody bag where the strap goes, if that helps you. And sometimes people are worried about a long flight, falling asleep and worrying about their seatmate stealing something from their bags that just might draw attention if it's taking them a long time to unzip that section. Now, if you're flying to Europe, you need to know this difference. I, I know right now people are planning that trip and the liquids bag that we use in the United States is larger than especially London Heathrow, Paris. I've heard Edinburgh is really strict. I do not know about Italy, but they only allow a one liter size bag. So usually in London Heathrow, they make you move all of your containers to their liter size bag. So one tip is do not fill it all the way full in case that happens, but this is a great alternative. I've had this backpack forever. It's anti-theft because the zippers do lock to certain, they don't lock, they connect to certain little holes. And so my thought was, oh, I'm never gonna use that. It's gonna take so long. That's just an option, especially if you're restricted on weight and size for a personal item bag. The ladies took this to our trip to Belgium this December, I did not, but they wore this on the front of their body. They wore it behind, like on their back as a backpack. The reason why I thought, oh, this could be a good bag is because when you're touring, you do not go into your backpack that often if you think about it. So it's not annoying to have to unlock or disconnect one of the zippers every now and then. Here's a larger carabiner hook that would be great for connecting your water bottle to your backpack straps, for instance, or to your tote bag if you need something connected with a lot of strength. I love that is tiny, just gives me peace of mind, is if my suitcase, because there's no overhead bin space, gets checked and then lost, I have this little tracker for that I can connect to my phone before the trip is what I learned. Uh, but you want it in a container. I think it's easier or it's, it's less easy to lose it um, when you get back from your trip. They have little keychains like this. That's an idea for you. And then my travel essential that's super small that cleans my eyeglasses. My husband is almost on board with this. My mom loves these. These were like the number one Christmas gift years ago from uh, that NASA uses, but here's the cheaper version. And these come in like several, like 10 or a hundred, <laughs> but they do a good job if you're, um, if you're on a budget, but do not use that on sunglasses where you've used sunscreen because they will ruin your peeps. These are peeps. Here's an item that is great for anti-theft and I have a video coming out about that. I will link up there so you can watch it, but it will, it's super smooth against your skin. And one thing I love is that the buckle, which is easy for large fingers to use, the buckle is embedded somewhat. So it's not gonna poke out if you're wearing a dress and the stretchy adjustable um, strap does not have any dangling straps and it doesn't like pinch your skin when you're wearing it. All right, this hack is going to help your feet when you travel. If you've been touring all day in the summer and you're wearing no socks, this will absorb your sweat absorb any smells as well, and then you can just trash them. And it doesn't take up that much space, 
where it makes the shoe too tight. They're super cheap. They're usually, they're Dr. Scholl's. You can find them by your pharmacist section in your grocery store. One travel hack, if you are going barefooted through airport security because you wore sandals or no socks, um, take a little antibacterial wipe to wipe off your foot when you're done, or you can take a sock that has holes in it and wear those and then trash them after secu security screening. Ooh, I forgot to say this. Um, they have shoe pads now that have room for a tracker. And when my dad was alive, he had Alzheimer's, which was awful, but this is a way you can put one of the trackers in their shoe pad if they go off walking, which is what he did at Virginia Beach. The fire station helped us find him, which was wonderful. Okay, and I am on the hunt for waterproof shoes, okay? Some of them are so expensive, like these, but look at that, they have a zipper, and they're narrow looking, so I think they're flattering to your leg. They're neutral for my skin tone. These, I think, may be the ones I go with, but they're they're Blondo. Um, they are waterproof. Blondo, being in Canada, they make a ton of uh, waterproof shoes but I need to try a different size. This was a little too large, um, but one travel hack is I learned from other pilot wives is they have the shoe insert. So I have two that I am testing and when I make a new shoe video, um, I will tell you about that. One travel hack is to just use Scotch Guard, and then they might become water resistant. I did find these sandals, oh my gosh. They're so comfortable and look at that, so supportive and they're waterproof. I'll link them for you. Everything I have that I can link, I'll put in the first comment or it will pop up down there. This is a super tiny thing that you can pack and I never knew how much, it's just a hotel room, but I appreciate being able to just throw on these little slippers to walk around the hotel room. If you are watching your kids or grandkids um, a soccer game in the middle of summer. This is a neck fan that our friend Jen Harvey recommended and I do love it. It's lightweight. I think this might be a little heavier, but I just feel weird wearing that. For some reason, uh, I was watching my husband race around a track here in Houston the other day and so I got this and it's bladeless. You just put it around your neck and turn on the fan. It has three different settings and you charge it with the little cord. Some people get super hot in the airplane, but my thought is to use it while you're on vacation if you have that problem. You know that a lot of people like to use neck pillows. Look what I found. It's an eye mask, okay, to block out the light, but the little stretchy cord thing it goes around the headrest, okay? My neck pillow goes around the headrest pieces, but this one holds your head up so that you can maybe fall asleep during a long flight. One travel hack that I thought of because I was looking for um, medicine or pill organizers, you do not have to pack all of your pill organizers in one big block that takes up space. Take those little containers out and then pack them wherever there is a hole of space. This is a question that I have gotten a lot lately. If you are traveling with medicine in the United States, pills, prescription medicine can be packed anywhere. The TSA is not looking for them. If it is a prescription liquid medicine or shampoo like I took to Belgium, um, the liquid does not have to go in your liquids bag. If it is a liquid that's larger than 3.4 ounces, it does need to be screened. So you can put it in a plastic baggie of any size or you can just take it out of your personal item bag and put it in the bin for extra screening. If you are taking any kind of medicine, even if it's prescription eye drops to Europe or any other country, Mexico, make sure you have the prescription for that, either liquids or dry pills that are prescription. For electronics, I love this cell phone charger. If you need to pack a small one, and this has enough juice to charge your phone twice, and it easily slides inside your crossbody bag with the cord for if you're at an amusement park all day. You're going to be using your phone, so you need something small and quick to charge your phone while you're having a blast on your vacation again. This small little travel 
travel essential is one of my favorites. It lets my shampoo bar, so I don't have to pack liquid shampoo, it lets my shampoo bar that is soaking wet dry out without leaking the water out of this bag. And it's not goopy when you have to pull out your shampoo bar on the next use. See, here's my little medicine container from our recent trip. All right, let's see, this little bag, these are fantastic. I have a little bitty hair clip for when I have a bad hair day, but they come in a set of like 35 and they're so smooth on your fingers. I wish every plastic baggie was made out of this stuff and it's easy to unzip and zip them. I would be doing you a big disservice if I did not remind you about my travel RFID blocking technology wallet. It's easy for large fingers to use. It is, it holds just enough cards for traveling. You will use it on every trip. Okay, this has been a travel essential for years. It's a little tray that folds flat in your bag. It will snap at the corners. It just draws attention because it comes in a different color for you to choose from. Or you can just pack a little piece of um, fabric or umbrella bag, just so you'll remember those items. Okay, real quick, I have to tell you about this other tiny thing. It is a light that I put, I was traveling by myself, so I put it on the zipper of my new tote bag, but our friend Jen Harvey puts hers on her winter coat. And that's what I also did in the past when I went to Canada. It just ties really easily to the zipper pull of any bag or coat. If you are flying to Europe, these are essential for me. They have three different plugs and then these little USB things. But what I found out when I went to Belgium, I wish I had packed this and you can't, they come in a set of two. In a lot of European hotels, they do not have a lot of outlets or cruise ships. They do not have a lot of outlets and I need more plugs for all of the electronics that we have to charge. And then a travel hack, for your electronics because there are so many cords that can get, you're like, which cord goes to which electronic? These little things, decorative tape, it's called washi tape. I get mine at Michael's. Um, you won't ever have to get another one once you buy a few rolls, but tear off a piece and then they match the block with the cord with the item that you're going to charge. All right, if you have a little travel essential that you wanna share with everybody, be sure to put them in the comments and say hey to everyone and check out some of the other videos. Everything will be linked in the first comment for you. I have videos, I have specific links to items that you've seen or seen behind me. Um, I'm also on the LTK app. If you want to see what I wear a few times during the week um, or what I post on Instagram, LTK is where you can tap on a certain item that you like in that picture and you can actually shop from there. It's free. It's just really useful for people. A lot of influencers use that, especially if they're in fashion stuff <laughs> and it's totally legit. I use it as well. All right. Thanks for your time and say, hey.